Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to go through the latest update that we've just received for our Rapture GT AX11000 uh, router from Asus. Um, so it does bring a, a lot of um, security vulnerability fixes, no real new features um, but it's always good as we said before that Asus are actually plugging all these vulnerabilities and fixing them. Uh, month on month now it seems to be uh, a lot are coming out and being found but it's good they're actually proactive and actually fixing them compared to some of the other actual manufacturers I've seen that are very slow on actually updating their uh, routers so as we get to it so you might have seen a, a bell icon come up here um, flashing and as usual you go into advanced settings um, and then on the advanced settings then you go to your uh, firmware so as like here on here um, so then you go to the firmware upgrade tab and as you go here and you can click check so you'll see there that um, it's going to check with Asus uh, servers for the updated firmware um, you might already have the updated firmware if you've got this set to auto and on to uh, on um, then basically it's going to automatically, as soon as an update comes available, it will automatically download and install it for you. I prefer, as I said before in previous videos, to have it off and manually check when they come out because I always like to check that sometimes the updates don't cause more problems than they're fixing. And as we are so reliant on these uh, routers nowadays, we're working from home and all our devices seem to be smart devices, um, all going through the Wi-Fi, I prefer to actually make sure I can get feedback from the forums before I do videos like this, that they are stable. And I've been using this update now um, for about a week and it, I've had no problems at all with it. Uh, as you can see here, the latest version is 386 underscore 46065. Um, so that's the uh, newest version uh, from Asus. I've already uh, updated it. As usual before, is once you've checked it, then you can just click the button that will be over here and you just upgrade the firmware. It will uh, take a few minutes, so be patient and let it restart. As I said in previous videos, I, I normally like to do a manual restart as well. So as you can come up here and reboot the uh, system again, the router after the update, just so it clears the memory and everything else. So moving on to the actual uh, firmware update. This is from the Asus, uh, directly from the Asus website. Um, so normally you can go to the actual support page for our uh, Rapture GT AX11000 and then it will give you the information as well. So I will put a link to this page as well for your uh, so you can have a read through it. So as I said, this doesn't really give you any new features within this uh, uh, update. This is only mainly to fix lots of security vulnerabilities um, that is available um, and they've actually fixed it, so it's good. Um, I think there is a beta version of the uh, firmware available if you did want to test that. Um, but that again is beta and it's test version. So if you're going to use it for uh, production or you're going to use it as your main router I would advise not to update it unless you've got a spare one um, or you're willing to have bugs and everything else and things disconnect so uh, first of all as we said here so the actual one is 386.46065 and this is it fixes numerous uh, security vulnerabilities the first one is around the uh, string format stack vulnerability um, Again, I'll put some links in there. I don't want to take up too much of your time by going through each individual and uh, explaining. But basically, this one here is a uh, format string exploit. So basically, it means when you've sub someone submitted data of a, a string, um, it's evaluated as a command by an application within the router. And in this way, the attacker could execute code, uh, read the stack information, or cause a fault in the running application. And causing new behaviors so basically and it compromises the security of the stability of the uh, system as well so it's quite a bit of a nasty one this one uh, the vulnerability where it could actually uh, execute code and also uh, take out the stability of your um, router as well so it's good to see they've fixed this um, again is another cross-site uh, script um, vulnerability like we've had before so some of these are 
uh, we've gone through is that the basically the attacker aims to execute um, malicious scripts or uh, a code into the uh, web browser and then perhaps then into the, your um, uh, router's uh, GUI uh, that's the user interface um, and then it can take over your router and uh, launch and execute a malicious code and then even taken over your your router and everything else um, so yeah so these are quite um, good um, that they're fixing them so quickly um, and acknowledging that they are there and not just hiding away um, and actually giving us a description of them again they're fixing the information um, a vulnerability and I think they're taking feedback from other people as well other security researchers so it's good and as we said before the SQL injection vulnerability a JSON so a JSON file is like uh, your text document but it's got code in there um, then you've got the port file uh, vulnerability a stack overflow as we've mentioned before about stack overflow is basically like a a glass of you've got a certain glass of a certain size and you're pouring milk and when it gets to the top it overflows and that's what it does it tries and crashes the memory so it's uh, putting too much memory into something and it will make a vulnerability and crash the actual little part of the program that's in your router you just got to remember that these routers are so advanced now we've got vpn servers in there we've got um, data security ones there analyzing the traffic information the speeds parental controls there's so much going on now in these routers so they've got a lot of software that these companies like asus rely on are actually third party and not developed by themselves um, and of course they um, in, incorporate them into their own software into our firmware so they are reliant sometimes on um, other people when they're developing them Again, they fixed the um, authenticate store uh, XSS um, basic vulnerability, and again, they're uh, actually thanking someone else here. So a good is they're actually taking uh, people are reporting them and they're actually um, acknowledging them. So it's good. And then you've got several here where they fixed the LPD denial of service. So as we know, uh, denial of service is where where they can flood. Uh, other networks and things like that and they sometimes they use previously they've used routers um, to actually send out information and try to take down networks where they've taken over uh, certain routers again they've fixed certain servers here for the uh, CFG um, overflow and the denial of service again they've got that information and this probably vulnerability um, from another security lab They've added some more ISP profiles, so it's good that they're incorporating more, especially from around the world, uh, more international as people use these routers. Uh, so they've got also they've fixed the AI mesh guest network issues. So I think there was a few, like I've got a few things like me, I've got another Asus router, and like I've done in previous videos, we're setting up the AI mesh. Um, there was some connection issues sometimes, and also on the ethernet backhaul if you were using them. So they've fixed those. Also, they've fixed the uh, dynamic DNS issues that was uh, if you had uh, IP version 6. Um, so they've fixed that issue as well. And also, as we said before at the beginning of the video, they've fixed uh, lots of UI bugs. That's your user interface. So that's basically what you see on your router um, when you're clicking around the buttons and everything else. Um, so again, that's from uh, feedback they've received. And then they've fixed the time zone error as well. So I think sometimes it was dropping the time zone um, when you were saving it. And also, lastly, they've improved the connection stability. So it's always good to see that they've uh, doing, trying to make it as more stability as well. So make it as secure as possible as well. Uh, again, this uh, actual update comes in around, well, 67 megabytes, so it's not too big. So it shouldn't take you too long to download and install on well. Again, that's just a quick uh, rundown of all of them. I didn't want to go through too much detail. But as I said, I have actually tested this for a while now, and it's been very stable. I've had no disconnections of any of the devices. I've tried my, my uh, Roku, uh, my Google Chromecast, the, the Nest doorbell, um, some IP cameras and then some the hue lighting systems and things like that and they're all connected as well as the smart thermostats and everything else and I've had no issues um, with uh, since having this update 
Okay, so as usual, if you have any questions or if you have any issues, then leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for watching.